Here comes somebody. I have a job for you. Watch the delay. I am gatebound, not riverbound. And down, I will kick him to the tunnel and his ass not to be disturbed. Trouble him gravely. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. Blink is handy just like for stealth, just because you can like move past guys without 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 needing to move actually walk through the intervening space. So it detects when you walk, would it detect if your boots fell? Like if you blinked slightly above the ground and fell? If it, it, it makes noise, yeah, that would make noise, so it depend, he could potentially hear it. Hmm. Oh, and there's that guy, he, that, that spring wire. It's got no head. Nice. Although, but keep in mind, there are also, there are, there are a couple upgrades that make your feet, your steps, quieter. At maximum, I believe you can actually sprint silently. Oh. Instructions from Dowd. The sleep toxin is only to be used on abductee targets and on bounties which we need alive. Don't waste them trying to avoid collateral casualties. Quite the humanitarian, doubt is. Hmm. Although he does have a, some more facets, some facets to him. Some of which, which you can see more of in, you know, like in the down DLC, but there's hints of it even in the main game. These guys are having a little training session, basically. Your next trial, you must leave unseen. Stay in the shadow and avoid the light. Mm. I kind of imagine, like, that guy is, like, actually the protagonist of some other game, and this is the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> like when I had to hide from Emily. Yeah. Class dismissed. They talk, they'll talk, they, they do some talk, some more talking after he returns if he's still alive, but. Oh! Oh, there he is! Yeah, if you've got less than full and you find an elixir that you can't carry because you got too many, you might as well use one to top yourself off. Yeah, if you leave him alive, then he circles back from that, and then, like, they're talking about, like, transversal, like, doing the, you know, the transversal power, like, visualizing where you want to be. If you have an assignment that requires that you travel to Rudshore Gate, see me. I have the key. Down. Hey, well, you, you know, nothing, but, you know, what you picked up from those guys talking, basically. So, we need to find Dowd. Oh, 
down he goes. Go. Are those like ventilation units? Looks like they are. You got like fans. Dowd's lair. There's the man himself. Poor boy's beaten us, sir. He's killed men who have no equal in the aisle. And that they will kill me, too. He said this couldn't happen, sir. I didn't think it could. I always thought one of you, the strongest of you, might kill me. But not a stranger. A man not trained in our methods. But perhaps he will. Remain on watch and kill him if you can. Maybe he'll surprise us both. So, yeah, they're actually. They're this, you know, assassin death cult, but they, you, you've actually got him afraid. So he's dead. Breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. Royal Spymaster. Wasn't it? Okay. Hiram Burroughs. This is interesting. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But someone beat me to it. There's someone not... very dangerous, it seems. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had. So many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. Hmm. When the seal broke. Yeah, this this comes up again in the uh, in the DLC. Something like he's like the, this life. You know, his the life is wearing on him. Some or something, and he's kind of on the on the, at the breaking point. Huh. But, regrets or no, we need that key from him. Plus the whole avenging, you know, the Empress being murdered thing. I'm wondering if, like, if you somehow have failed to pick up a sword yet, if you can take that one. I bet you could. Makes sense. Now, Dowd is interesting, because remember, Dowd is touched by the Outsider, too. Right. And he's rather more skillful with it than that, you know, the executioner. Or the, the torturer. As you're about to see. I don't know, I guess you could just yank the key and then sneak away without fighting him, like maybe. But that's not. He's also more durable than some of the other assassination targets. I know that there are heart lines for Dowd, but for some reason I could never quite get him. Notice that didn't kill him? <laughs> yeah. And now we fight the duel that no two others could He also has time slow. Against the ticking of the clock. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. Oh. Why are you fighting? To find the answer. Poisoned you and left you to die. Dead Empress. Strike as if you mean it. Oh, he got me. But yeah, Dowd. You notice at some point the uh, all the guys around you were moving slow. Yeah. Dowd has time. Dowd has time slow, like uh, like you do, but but like the exit, but it doesn't work on you either. But it, and you can't use it on him. So yeah, oh, I see. yeah, time is just bending and twisting around us. All right. Now maybe there's an easier way to do this. 
You know, he's made of sterner stuff than someone like the Regent. I said I've beaten Dowd, but he is not. It didn't. We don't. We didn't have the whole target assassinated thing appear yet, so he's not dead. Ah! Oof. Who else wants a piece? Who else wants a piece? Come on. So do you know any? It's like you have different tactics. Hold on. Basically, once you beat him, I he like limps over here. Eyes for you. Mm. I asked for my life when I killed your empress and took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself, and I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You didn't have to ask what my choice would be, did you, Nick? No. He, he's su he's supposed to fall off there. He's supposed to plummet to his death, or, but didn't quite work. There we go. Now, this isn't really a spoiler, considering you know, we you know, we just saw what happened. It, in the uh, Dowd uh, DLC, the ending of yes. it is actually that scene there. And in the Dowd playthrough, one of the things your chaos level affects is whether or not Corvo spares you or kills you. Huh. It's not the only thing it affects. It's like Corvo's campaign in that, like, you know, the, the world around you changes subtly, to, or not so subtly. Depending. Right. But, yeah, the that it determines no. your ending is Dowd. Oh, God. What's that? Um, do you know what the other ways of... Uh, finishing that by R. Uh, well, there, there isn't... Dowd is unique in that there is no specific non-lethal way to beat him. There's, uh... You have... I mean, the only way... You fight him, and then you just decide whether or not to kill him. Or if you're talking about, like, you mean other ways to, like, to win that... Win the battle? Yeah. Well, it's... it's on lower... Dif on normal difficulty levels, you can kill him with, like, a long-range crossbow shot to the head. Like with any other, anyone else. On harder difficulty... He, you know, he actually has, like, unnatural resilience. But right. you can, uh... Well, there are various things you can do. You could set up, like, you could set up uh, spring wires at strategic points around the area. Um, actually, one thing you, actually, one thing you can do if you want to sneak attack him... Uh, this is just about some other, other gangster who used to rule this area before Slackjaw. Uh, the other thing you can do, do is, uh, a if you ambush him with a grenade, mm -hmm. I believe you can, I believe a grenade, like a well-aimed grenade can, like, take him down at once. I see. 